What is going on YouTube, Lamont at large. And today on this fine evening, we are in Groves, Texas. And this is the Green Lake Memorial Park Cemetery. And the reason why I'm down here is because I wanted to come and visit the grave of Pimp C. Uh, he is one half of rap duo extraordinaires, UGK. So I was here about three o'clock and I was over yonder. I was taking a picture of a very uh, nice ornamental looking grave. And then I came over here and I wanted to show you guys some of these uh, monuments because they're really fantastic. And I was hoping to not do this video at night, but I had to wait to come back here because I got kicked out earlier. So I was at this wall right over here and I'm just kind of looking at my phone, looking up a story and uh, a gentleman who works at the cemetery, he was wearing a blue shirt. He had grayish hair, maybe in his mid fifties, white guy. He comes up to me and says, can I help you? And I said, no. Now, some of you guys might think that I'm rude in that interaction. Uh, not rude, I'm just very to the point. Uh, I didn't come up bothering anybody. I didn't come up to anybody asking for help. Normally, I'm a nice guy, very easy. If you recognize me in public to approach me, I'm a good dude. Sometimes I don't want to be bothered. I don't have time. I'm doing other stuff. Comes off as a little rude, but I'm just really to the point with things, you know? And this guy says, well, uh, I seen you over there. And I said, okay, now I'm over here. And he says, well, what are you doing here? And I said, I'm here to visit Chad Butler. That's the real name of Pimp C. I don't know if he knows who he is. I don't know if he's had people come in here asking him about him. Probably so. I don't know. And he says, well, we've had people coming in here, you know, doing stuff. And I told him, well, that's not my business. I'm here to visit somebody. He says, well, right now you're loitering. <laughs> and uh, I, I told him, I said, well, uh, I'm here. I'm visiting somebody. So I guess it's basically going to be up to you. If you want, I could leave. And he says, well, you need to go. And at that point, eh, you know, me being the rebellious rebel without a clue teenager of 1994, circa Hollywood, California, I don't want to leave. So I just basically, I shoot him off. I know you guys might think, man, this Lamont guy is really rude. Not rude, just to the point that is all. So... I'm waiting for him to call the police on me and that never came because they were busy with a family who was here to probably pay a lot of money to have their loved one uh, buried here. So I just got up and I left. I didn't want any problems, but I did want to come back to see if I could at least uh, show you before it gets too dark. Uh, some of the absolutely uh, fantastic statues in this cemetery. And then, of course, we're going to go uh, visit uh, Pimp C, who's in the mausoleum over yonder. So one of the graves right here that I was looking up, well, before we begin, I really dig this bust right here. See, this is the kind of stuff that I wanted to show you guys here at this uh, cemetery. That's really, really awesome. He has a Seattle Seahawks uh, cap on. And uh, a lot of the, uh, you know, a, a lot of uh, Asian uh, cultures, they leave food at the graves. So you'll see that all the time. I imagine some kind of raccoon will eventually uh, come and get it or what have you. So there was this kid I think his name, his name escapes me right now. So I was just looking up random stuff and I seen his picture and then I just scrolled away to the next page and I'm looking in this uh, cemetery right here and I passed by a stone 
And I looked at the face, you know, and I said, I've seen this face before. And lo and behold, it was the same kid uh, that I was looking up online. So he was 23 years old. He was shot and killed by his dad. Uh, I, I guess apparently they got into some kind of a physical altercation and they were in the uh, garage of their home. And I don't know what kind of fisticuffs were going on. But uh, the father runs into the kitchen to grab a gun. And I guess maybe they try to, like, lock the door or whatever. And I don't know what possessed the father. I don't know why he did this. But he shot the gun through the door. He didn't mean to, to, to kill his kid, you know. He only meant to probably scare him. But in the process, uh, that bullet, unfortunately... It found its target and the son passed away and uh, this is his grave right here Peter Tran now here's the weird thing about this situation you look up the father's name online it, the only information it shows is that the father was arrested initially with a charge of murder and then it his bail was half a million dollars and then it got lowered to a hundred thousand dollars because the prosecutor uh, changed the charge to manslaughter that's it he's not in prison or nothing like that so i'm guessing they dropped the charges so i can't find anything if you want to look it up uh you probably want to look up uh, peter tran port arthur texas and I'm, I'm hoping you guys can see some of these uh, awesome statues here. I mean, uh, this is uh, some of the nicest uh, statues I've seen at a cemetery in, in quite some time. I know some of you guys, you know, have told me before in the comments that I, you know, I stopped uh, doing cemetery vlogs. So I wanted to ramp that up because I do really, really enjoy doing them. And uh, there, if you can see that uh, cross lit up over there. So, this is what I wanted to really show you guys. I thought this was fantastic. Look at this. Wow. You know, it, it's, it, unfortunately, it's dark. You probably can't see it very well, but you can see the statues of Jesus and uh, the two statues right over here. I mean, this is awesome. I mean, I, I do love stuff like this. Uh, in the daytime, when you can see, it looks a lot nicer when I'm not getting kicked out of cemeteries. Normally, cemetery workers never bother me. This is a rare occurrence uh, where, you know, he wanted to see what I was doing. And there was a woman right here who was stabbed to death by her husband. Her grave is somewhere right here. Uh, this murder happened in 2005. Uh, the the lady's name I forgot because I don't I don't think I wrote it down, but it was it was somewhere in this area if I can just find it. But in the meantime, as I'm looking for it, hopefully you guys can really see this um, these really nice looking graves. I mean, it's I don't know who. Uh, I don't know how many people pay for this. this. is very, 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 very expensive. This, this is um, this looks like I'm guessing this costs three hundred thousand dollars. I mean, this is. Look at that. It's, it's like it takes up twenty spaces. So they had to buy up all the spaces, and then pay for this, pay it for them to bring it in, and all that. And the cemetery worker guy that was. That was, um, you know, kind of not harassing me. He was just, you know, he's doing his job. I'm doing mine. You know what I mean? That's the way I look at it. But he was right here with uh, a Vietnamese man. I'm assuming he's Vietnamese because this section, these are all Vietnamese people. These are all uh, Catholic uh, Vietnamese people. And he, he was right over there. So I'm assuming he was uh, talking about him possibly wanting uh, a uh, very large or uh, very uh, elaborate... Uh, grave mate or what have you
This was the grave that I was talking about. This is Christy Wen, February 26, 1972 to November 29th, 2005. She was stabbed to death by her husband at the time, Kenny Tran. Domestic violence, all their kids were at home when this terrible crime happened. And uh, he, of course, was caught and tried and convicted of her murder. He got 20 to 40 years in prison, so he's currently... Uh, in prison, not very far from here. I want to say he's about a hundred and hundred and twenty-five miles at best, and uh, he's up for parole in twenty twenty-five. Hopefully, let's hope that he doesn't get it. And uh, I think the maximum release date is twenty forty-five. That's when he's done all his time. So who knows if this guy is gonna get out? or not but anyway so let's go pay a visit to uh, chad lamont butler uh, also known as uh, pimp c so uh, he was of course like i said earlier one half of ugk and when i was a kid i used to really be into rap music and i used to read this magazine i'm sure it's still around it's called source magazine and the source would always have these you know, at the at the back of the magazine, new rappers coming out. The source is how I found out about Aaliyah. It's how I found out about R. Kelly. It's how I found out about Fat Joe. And it's how I found out about UGK. And I thought those letters were really cool, UGK. And me and my friends were wanting to start a little, a little like, graffiti crew. So I told them, I said, how about we call each other UGK, Underground Kings? And then they were game. So we were... Not official UGK, but we were UGK for a while. And uh, originally, uh, Pimp C is from Louisiana. He's right, not far from here. He's from Crowley. And I think he grew up in this area. And uh, yeah, I think he was 19, 20 years old when him and his partner Bum B uh, first hit it big. And if you've never heard of their music, you've probably heard, I say the biggest song that they were a part of, because they did some collaborations with uh, a lot of other rappers, it was probably Big Pimpin' by Jay-Z. You know, Big Pimp in P-I-M-P or something like that. That's how the song goes. And they were also uh, with 3-6 Mafia. They did a collab, Sipping on Some Scissorp. And, uh, hey, became a, became a millionaire off of the rap gang. And he sadly died in, uh, he was only 33 years old. This guy was young. I didn't realize how young he was. And he died in 2007. He died in a hotel, I believe it was somewhere in West Hollywood. Uh, he died of a, um, a drug overdose with that cough syrup. And he is... Let's see, because it's dark and I really can't see. It actually might be... This is one of the reasons why I don't like doing videos at night is because you can't see very well let's try the other side of this mausoleum he might he might be on the on the other side there oh no he's right here chad lamont butler pimp c very young I, and, and you know it's so crazy too it, i can't believe how long he's been gone Yeah, this guy was, uh, hey, man, when we were kids, man, the UGK, man, Outkast, uh, all the, you know, the Southern rappers, man, they were, these guys were legends. These guys were doing it when it wasn't even cool to claim the South, you know, back in those days, it was cool to be West Coast or East Coast. Nobody was really coming out of Texas. Or Louisiana, and they were way before you know Hot Boys, Master P, uh, Cash Money, all that. So you know it's guys like you know UGK, Pimp C, Bum B, it's guys like that that paved the way for uh, you know DJ Screw, Fat Pat, Big Hawk, all them dudes, the Screwed Up Click, all those dudes. They, they paved the way for a lot of rappers to come out of Texas and, and Texas be cool, you know? If it wasn't for this man right here, Pimp C, I don't think there would have been a, a Paul Wall or a Mike Jones or a Little Flip. It might not even have been a T.I. Who knows? Rest in peace to Pimp C, man. I just wanted to come out here 
drive 100 miles just want to stop by and say you know say hello give my respects you know all right guys it is pretty dark out here as you can well see so i'm just gonna cut the video here i should have probably came a little bit earlier but i just wanted to make sure that those people in the office were long gone there was a a grave over here. It was a really nice looking grave. This kid, he died in a car accident. And I wanted to show you guys. But uh, I'll post it on my Facebook page. If you guys want to go check it out, you can go follow me on there. Just look up Lamont at large. And uh, I hope you guys didn't think that I was coming across rude when I was telling you the story about the guy who wanted to know what I was doing here. You know, it, it's just... It, you know, I wasn't raised to be disrespectful, uh, nothing like that at all. They're just, uh, you know, I like to, I guess you like to, I like to say, I like to cut through the fluff. You know what I mean? I like to cut through the fluff. I, you know, I don't want to go back and forth with people like bantering back and forth. Let's just, you know, I'm the type of guy, let's get to business. What's this all about? You know what I mean? And, you know, you put yourself in other people's position. This guy, you know, they probably had somebody come here and vandalize something, you know, last week or maybe six months ago. And, you know, listen, if you know me in real life, a real life, you know that uh, my attire isn't the best when it doesn't need to be. You know what I mean? My van is raggedy, old and dirty. So you probably just seen this bum and uh, you probably thought I was uh, up to no good. Not up to no good. I just have a fascination with cemeteries and I have since I was a kid. Live but not live, still alive by the grace of God. I am Lamont at large. Uh, rest in peace to all those who have departed this earth. All those who lived a lot of times long before we were ever at thought a twinkle in our parents' eyes. I'll come back here one day and we'll do a proper video. I'd like to show you in the daytime what this place looks like. It's a really, really cool cemetery, you know, with the trees and all that. It's, I, I wish I could show you the daytime, but I'll be back. I'll be back. And hopefully if that uh, cemetery worker sees me again, hopefully he cuts me some slack, Jack. I'm out of here. Peace out.